There are lots of options when I open Teams. What can I use Teams for? This is another good question. So today we'll look at the different functions of Teams. I'll point out now that I will cover assignments in a separate video. Everything else you're going to need, I'll cover in this one. Again, I'm using a Windows device, so some things might appear different, but the underlying function should remain the same. So, when you open your Teams app, down the left-hand side you'll see a few thumbnails. Let's walk through these from top to bottom. At the top you should see the Activity thumbnail. This is pretty much your notifications feed. This thumbnail is a nice little way to direct yourself to any changes, mentions or new assignments in your Teams. You can filter this to switch between general notifications or to see your own activity. The account I'm using to show you this today isn't active, so there's not much to see in this feed. But if I switch to my teacher account, you can better see what the filter does. Next, we'll look at the chat function of Teams. This is very much like the call and messaging history on your phone. You start a chat by clicking on the little box icon at the top of the Teams app. From there, you can contact classmates or teachers by simply looking at their hub mail. Then, just like with a messaging app, you can talk to the person at the other end of the conversation. Thirdly, let's take a look at the calls thumbnail. If a text chat won't cut it, you can make audio and video calls from this thumbnail. I know a few pupils have enjoyed using this function to arrange online discussions and group chats and even bingo. Please remember at this time, however, that pupils and parents must not call any teachers using this function. To call a classmate, simply add them to your contacts by looking up their hub mail. Then it's just a case of clicking the video or the audio icon to connect the call. The next thumbnail is for assignments, but as stated at the start of this video, we're going to cover this separately. So let's skip ahead to the calendar thumbnail. Now, if you're a super organised sort, you can use this function to schedule your calls, meetings, school schedule, whatever. Simply click the slot where you have something scheduled or booked, fill out the relevant information and the event will be added to your calendar. The Teams thumbnail is probably the one that you've used most so far. This takes you to the main page where you can see all of your Teams. This demo account is signed up to all of my actual classes, but what you're seeing is a student view. Let's click on the lovely 7S to see an example of a Teams page. At the top, you can see a few different tabs, and on the left-hand side, you'll see channels. These are going to be different for each of your teachers and classes. Let's look at the tabs at the top first. We're currently in Posts, which is like a notice board, and the next tab is the Files tab. This shows you the read-only files that the teacher has shared with the class. Please don't put any of your own files and documents here. This is not where you submit assignments. OneNote is probably something you don't need to worry about right now. It might be covered in a future video if the need arises though. The next tab is Assignments and like I've already said, that's going to be covered separately. So let's skip to the Grades tab. This will give you a short form summary of your attainment in any work that you've done uh, so far. Just so you know, your teacher sees something slightly different in this tab, including a breakdown of exactly who has viewed, handed in or not handed in any work. Yes, we can see who's viewed the work but not actually done it. The last tab on this particular channel is Insights. Not all teachers will have this set up and lots will have extra or different tabs set up here. If your teacher has set up the Insights tab, odds are you're not going to see much of anything here. Your teachers, however, are using it to assess and monitor your progress. And that's it for tabs on this channel. On the left hand side of this Teams page, you can see channels. Lots of teachers will have set the general channel up to be a teacher announcement sort of notice board only. You can see that I've set up a specific chatter box for pupils to ask their questions and talk to me or to each other, however. Please bear in mind here that if you want someone's attention, you need to tag them. Just like with a lot of social media, you do this by using the at key and then typing in the person's name. Keep conversations organised by using the reply button when responding to someone. Also, maintain high literacy standards and be polite. Address your teachers properly and don't neglect basic spelling and punctuation. 
This isn't a chat with your mates. This is a professional platform. Please treat it as such. Finally, the files thumbnail shows all of the files that you've been working with. Honestly, you won't need to use this much as the files you'll be using will usually be attached to your assignments. This account isn't active, but you can see how my files are organized on my teacher account. And there you go. That's pretty much all you need to get to grips with for now. I recommend, as always, that you learn by doing. Explore the app, play around with it, and familiarize yourself with how incredibly useful it's going to be. Thank you for listening, and I hope you answered the question. See you soon. Yes, it does.